Martin Chase, born in 1906 in Kiev, Ukraine, moved with his family to Providence, Rhode Island at the age of six. As he grew into an adult, he chose not to work in his father's automobile repair business as his five brothers had done. Instead, at the age of 20, he took a job working retail at a store called Fintex and later Howard's Clothes. In 1933, he decided to start his own store called Chase Clothing. Martin Chase understood how to be successful at business by undercutting his competitors and offering only profitable products and services. One thing he did away with was alterations because it was less profitable. In 1946, following a decline in clothing sales, Chase bought an old mill complex in Cumberland, Rhode Island. This mill was called the Ann and Hope, and the words were inscribed in brick across the building tower, which was built in 1886. Originally, the mill was given the name as a tribute to the wives of iconic 18th century sea merchants Nicholas Brown and Thomas Ives, who made a fortune in Far East trade. Their flagship vessel was also dubbed the Ann and Hope, and was lost at sea in 1806. At first, Chase and his son Irwin decided to divide up the building and rent the spaces out to other businesses. In 1953, one old tenant left behind large amounts of ribbon, and rather than just throw it out, Irwin Chase decided to sell it and make some money. This became the springboard for their next move, which was to begin selling clothes again, this time under the name Anne and Hope, because it was already written on the building. By the following spring, the clothing operation had become successful, so more and more products were added over time. This wasn't just the birth of the Ann and Hope department store. Retail historians consider it the founding moment of American discount retailing. Ann and Hope was quite different from other stores of the time in that it was a self-service store, so you didn't need a clerk to help you. You could even use a shopping cart, which may have been the first time a department store put them to use. Ann and Hope also used multiple checkout counters, which was a new concept for a department store. By 1969, these innovations made Ann and Hope a $40 million per year business. The original mill location also offered ample parking, which made the store a destination for families on the weekends. The mill location was so popular, new locations began to open across the Northeast. Some locations had full-scale cafeterias. Some of them also included a garden center, which was an area of the store that was rented to a subtenant, but eventually, Ann and Hope converted them over to be completely store-run garden shops. Ann and Hope's real claim to fame is that the mill location located in Cumberland, Rhode Island was pretty well known, so would-be retailers like Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, and Harry Cunningham, before launching Kmart, visited the Ann and Hope Superstore for inspiration. One year after visiting Ann and Hope, the very first Walmart opened in Rogers, Arkansas in 1962. By 1990, Ann and Hope began disappearing after fierce competition from the other big box retailers. Store locations began to close rapidly, and by 2001, only two locations still remained, including the original mill location in Cumberland. The remaining stores converted to smaller versions of themselves and became curtain and bath outlet stores. These smaller locations did well and allowed the company to expand slightly with a few new outlet locations. Then came the year 2020. Like many businesses during this unprecedented time, Ann and Hope was unable to withstand the loss of in-person shopping due to COVID-19. 
The 11 locations that remained across Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut were all closed permanently in June 2020. For many in the Northeast, Anne and Hope was a family tradition. Weekly visits to the store were fun for the whole family, and you were bound to get a bargain. When you look around at the current retail landscape, Walmart, Target, and even Amazon have Anne and Hope to thank for innovating the idea of a one-stop shopping experience. Let me know in the comments your own memories of shopping at Anne and Hope. And as always, thank you for watching.